He is smart, eloquent, with an amazing command of the English language. He is a ladies' man who is also God's man. He looms large and stands tall above his peers. Many have described him as Africa's Ryan Seacrest. Please enjoy our chat with Big Brother host and on-air personality, I.K. Osakyo Dua. Welcome to Fab Radio, I.K. It's quite an honor for me to be on the show. I feel privileged to be a part of it. Now, I understand this is your fourth season as the host. What would you say keeps Big Brother coming back to you year after year? First of all, kudos to all the guys who have hosted it before me. I have loads of respect for them. I think this show just evolved. I think what I've managed to do to help me survive on the show for longer is uh, adapt with the show. To, to, be, to take on the spirit of each new season. You know, every season has its own attitude, its own personality, what they're looking for. And I try to adapt to, to fit the season that we're on. So being able to adapt, being able to change with the wind as the wind changes, it helps in this game. You started your career on radio and still remain a primetime radio show host till date. I personally feel that your achievements as an on-air personality is paling out in comparison to your TV exploits. Now tell me, what keeps you on radio still? It's a love for the game. I love the radio station. I love the concept of radio. I love being able to talk to people as they drive to work. I love being able to say things that people think and get away with it because it's radio. You know, on TV, there's some things you can't say on TV without suffering a lot of criticism. On radio, you can wake up in the morning, come to the office in pajamas and speak everybody's mind. You know, there's some things people think, but they just don't say. And you know they're driving in their cars and they're going, ah, this boy, you know? I like that, you know, I love radio. I love the concept of speaking to people every day. Um, as they drive to or from work uh, or just go about their business. Now, speaking to people every day, I also hear you speak in church and might be an ordained pastor in a popular Pentecostal church. And many have described you also as a role model for Christians in the entertainment industry, in an industry where a lot of good men are falling. What keeps you standing? Um, yeah, I've done my time speaking, pastoring, leading in the church. I'm not ordained, but what keeps me going is I keep it real. We're men of God, but we're men first. I mean, God consumes us. We are all that he makes us. But you've got to realize how frail you are, how little you are in the scheme of his plans and become dependent. It doesn't make you weak to be dependent. You know, it doesn't make you less than other men to be dependent. It just it makes it, you realize, you know, that you need him to get by. So I really don't do anything without committing it to God first. I don't go on Big Brother's stage without praying about it first. I don't um, go on the radio without really praying. Some of my radio shows actually start with a prayer on the radio because I've learned that look bigger, better and more experienced men than me have messed up their lives. Um, so if I'm going to make it, it's not based on sure determination, it's going to be because God saved me from trouble. So uh, I'm, I'm just one of those guys I realize I need God. We got news that Mrs. Felicia Viawe, your mother, had passed on. Please tell me those values she taught you that you would be passing on to your children. One of the best things about my mom was that she believed in us. When I got into school, my dad wanted us all to be science students, engineers, you know, so that was all he was focused on. My mom was uh, the first person to really look at me and say, what are you good at? What are you gifted at? What, what are you gifted to do? And I really didn't know at the time. So through the course of school, she guided me into finding my gift and chasing my gift. And eventually I became uh, an entertainer, a radio TV presenter. And she pushed me into that, not because other people were going into it, but because she saw that I was gifted to do that. So if there's one thing I want to learn from her, or if there are two things, one, I want to believe in my kids no matter what, even if they're not what other people's kids are. Um, and I want to help them discover what they are uniquely gifted to do and then give them my all with helping them become the best at it. That's what my mom did for me. I believe that IK is fab, is fabulous African and black. Now tell me, why would I think so? Well, you know, first of all, you've got to believe in Africa. I'm a full believer in Africa and everything African. I am uniquely, completely and totally African. Fab Radio.